Carson Fulmer on the hill. He had a very good road trip. He got the ball over the plate. And when he's not walking people, he's usually certainly effective. So the Indians have a two out base runner. There is no score. And here's Yasiel Puig. He's finishing with a flourish. And Puig rifles it through the hole on the right side of the infield. Santana all the way to third. Indians at the corners with two down. And this inning will continue. What an at bat by Yasiel Puig. Yeah, it truly was. He finally got a pitch he could handle and lined it to right field. Now the bases are loaded. Jose Ramirez, who's been out a month, making his return tonight. A swing and a drive to deep right field. Away, back and gone. How about that welcome back? A grand slam down the right field line. The little man with a big bat has come back to spark the Indians with a grand slam here in the first. Mike Clevenger's pitching as well as anybody in baseball. And I don't care if your name is Justin Verlander or Garrett Cole, Clevenger has pitched just as well since he got healthy. It's out of the order here for the White Sox. Larry Garcia, Tim Anderson, and Jose Abreu. Up the ladder goes Mike Clevenger, and he struck him out. The wind in the pitch, a swing and a miss. With this game, I see Mike Clevenger strike out 27. Swung on a miss, he chased a breaking ball in the other batter's box. And the Indians have a 4-0 lead. So the number eight hitter in the batting order, Roberto Perez, the catcher, will lead things off here against Santiago. 4-0 Indians. Swung on, whacked to deep left. It's gone. Roberto Perez hits number 24 on a line drive blast to left. And here we go, 5 nothing Indians. And so two on, one out. Here's Jose Ramirez hit that grand slam down the right field line in the first inning. And he drives it to deep left. Are you kidding? Way out of here. Two thirds of the way up the bleachers in left center. Jose Ramirez, two swings of the bat, seven RBIs. And Steven Spielberg just sent the script back and said, no, I have a reputation and credibility to think about. No one would believe this story. And Collins wisely holds at first base with a two out single. That brings up James McCann. Swung on, foul tip, hung on to by Roberto Perez. That's strike three, and the side is retired. Now here's Mercado with a chance to pad that lead with runners on the corners and two down. Swung on, and there's a high fly ball. Deep left center. This one's hit well. Way back there. Home run, Mercado. And the Indians continue to pile on the White Sox. It is now 11-0 try. Serious Jimenez, 11-0 Indians in the sixth inning. Swing and a miss. Jimenez chased one down in the dirt. Just a mammoth night for Clevenger. So Framil Reyes with one hit and three trips. He also scored a run. He was on board when Mercado hit the three-run homer in the fifth. On the ground, second base. Sanchez flipped to Anderson. Oh, yes, sir! How about that play? Tag team back again. This is pretty good. Yomer is way over at shortstop. Tim's got it, the off-balance throw, and they get the out. That's got to be the play of the night in Major League Baseball. It's got to be. Pretty good one. Pretty good one indeed. So Polka has popped out twice, one to second, one to first. And Clevenger has another double-digit strikeout game. That's 10 strikeouts for Clevenger, and that's his seventh 10 strikeout game of the year or more. Now the guy that took over at shortstop, Ryan Goins. And topper foul. Reyes can't make the play. You know, it used to be foul ball over to the dugout. The guys would just turn around and I'll flip it into the crowd. But now, because of the screen, <laughs> yeah. you got to launch it up. And that guy made the catch. So as, as Frommiel launched it over the screen, it was like a it's like a big league pop up and that guy caught it and everybody around him went crazy. Look how excited he is though. <laughs> Gotta love it. Two down Yoan Moncada 0 for 3 batting left handed taps it to the mound Otero gloves it. He'll flip it over to first good inning for Dan Otero and the Indians pulverizing of the White Sox continues. So Phil Maton will come on here in the ninth. Can the Indians pitch another shutout a swing and a little bouncer up the middle. Behind second club by Freeman throws across the body and got Jimenez nice play one down. So here's the D.A. Zach Collins waved at and that's a strikeout of Zach Collins. Indians pitchers have struck out 13 White Sox tonight. Here's Matt Skoll pinch hitting for James McCann. 
Swing and a miss. Ball game. The Indians will stay tied with Tampa Bay in the lost column in that second wild card spot.